um, May Carr right now. She is the civil rights attorney and the founder of Champion of Women. She's also an expert witness for these victims in Dr. Nasser's case. She joins me from Jacksonville, Florida. Nancy, thank you uh, so much. There, there is something I think is the elephant in this legal courtroom, and that is that <clears throat> 101 victims' impact statements are being read yeah. in this case. Right. It is an extraordinary number, especially when you see that he has pled guilty to just seven counts, seven right. victims. So many right. of those victims, the vast majority of those victims, actually don't have an adjudication. They don't have a conviction in their case. That cannot be lost on you as an attorney and as someone who's actually speaking on their behalf. Yeah, I, I think what's unusual about this case is to hear four days worth of victims coming forward and saying what the impact of this has been on their families, on their friends, on their lives. Uh, to have, you know, parents of children who have committed suicide because of this. So I say that in order for somebody who's suffered sexual assault to, uh, to be able to heal, they need two things. One is to be believed that it happened. And that, that has been a hard road just to get that. But the second thing they need is to be believed on what the emotional impact is. And these women are giving the country a front row seat on what the impact on sexual violence is. And hopefully, if people recognize how, what, um, how it really changes the trajectory of somebody's life, yeah. then, we, then you're more likely to get, um, look, you're, you're always gonna have freakos like Larry Nassar, but how do you get United States Gymnastics? How do you get the Olympic Committee? How do you get other people, other entities well, involved? These, these voices are loud and they are yeah. resounding. And they, luckily resounding. they're not the only voices out there. They're powerful and they've got that microphone right now. And all of a sudden, a lot of people are getting that microphone right throughout uh, society. So listen, my thanks to you, Nancy, uh, for being here tonight and also for the work you're doing. Christine Brennan, my thanks to you as well. And again to Morgan. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. A 27-year-old Minnesota woman